The video you're about to see will show a typical patient's experience through the bowel screening journey. Currently, we have four clinics and four to five endoscopy lists a week, all based at Chesterfield Royal Hospital, covering a population of just over half a million patients within the screen age of 60 to 74. The endoscopy unit is brand new and purpose-built which centres around the patient's journey having privacy and dignity zones and male and female segregation. As you come through the hospital's main entrance you should go straight to the main reception to check in. You'll be directed to the correct clinic from there. When you arrive at the clinic you'll see a big white board telling you where your screening nurse is. Just take a seat outside the room. The screening nurse will be expecting you. Come and have a seat for me. Thank you. The screening nurse will check your name, date of birth, address and contact number before asking a series of questions about your health, medications you may be taking and questions about your bowels. You will be then shown a series of slides to illustrate what a polyp looks like before being told in detail how to take the laxative to clear your bowel prior to the test. The screening nurse will go through the timings of when you need to take the laxative. When taking the laxative, some patients find it helps to drink through a straw to avoid the sweet taste. Adding cordial to the glass can help too. Um. I don't know how soon it's going to make you go to the toilet, but mm -hmm. it will give you watery diarrhoea. It's going to make you go lots and lots of times to the right. toilet. So uh, do stay close to the toilet once you start drinking it. Yeah. And there's some little diagrams on the back there which shows you how to, to mix it, it up. And key yeah. points to remember, little bits I've just told you about. Mm -hmm. All right. It's your instructions. And everything's written down there, but if you've got mm -hmm. any queries, I'd rather you give me a call and just right. go through things rather than worry about yeah. it. All right. Okay. So that's Last thing I want to do is just check your height and your weight before you mm -hmm. leave, is that okay? Yeah, that's cool. And uh, there's a blood test I want you to have done as well, just to check your kidney function. Mm -hmm. So I'll send you off for that today. Yeah. First of all, you need to remove one of the packets from the box at the time stated in the instructions. Mix packets A and B together with a litre of tap water. You must drink a glass of laxative every 15 minutes alongside half a litre of clear fluids. Avoid taking any medication an hour before whilst drinking the laxative and for an hour afterwards. Remember, stay close to the toilet when you start drinking the laxative. On arrival for your colonoscopy, don't go to the main reception. Instead, go straight to the endoscopy department and report to the endoscopy reception. You will have your details checked on arrival. If you wouldn't mind just confirming for me that we have your name correct, date of birth, that's your address, telephone number and your GP practice. That's correct. That's lovely. You may be with us for two to three hours, so if you're being picked up, make sure they're aware of this. Your details will be checked by the endoscopy nurse with your blood pressure before you get ready for your test. To ensure your privacy and dignity is respected, designated male and female changing areas are provided for you to get changed into a gown. When you are changed, the endoscopy nurse will come and insert a cannula, leaving a small plastic tube in place ready for the test. One of the nurses from the endoscopy room will come and collect you and you'll be walked into the room where the screening practitioner and the screening colonoscopist will be present with the endoscopy nurses. You need to go on your left hand side, so facing that way. Facing. Gas and air is available as an alternative to sedation. Your comfort levels will be monitored throughout. Some patients find the gas and air useful alongside sedation. The test normally takes around 30 to 45 minutes on average but can take longer if a number of samples need to be collected. Once your colonoscopy is over, you will be taken to either the male or female recovery bay. In recovery, you will have your blood pressure rechecked and cannula removed before getting dressed. Once you are fit for discharge, the recovery nurse will walk you down to the discharge area. 
where you'll be offered a warm drink and a biscuit. The endoscopy nurse will discharge you. If you've had sedation, you'll need somebody to take you home and stay with you for at least the next 12 hours. The endoscopy nurse will discuss your test, giving you written information and aftercare. The screening nurse will call you the next working day to check your ID before asking how you are and give you the opportunity to ask any further questions. Any follow-up required will also be discussed. I hope that you have found the information contained within the video useful. If you have any further questions then please call us on 01246 512197. Thank you.